When Evelyn saw who was standing in the doorway, she was so confused. It wasn't the tiny little girl she had met the day before. This time, it looked like an older man. He was still short, just like all the other people Evelyn had met on the other side of the door. But she had no idea who this man was. Hello, sir. My name is Evelyn. Who are you? And the man said, Why, hello, young lass. What brings you to our doorstep this morning? Well, I was looking for a little girl. Her name is Evelyn, and I met her here yesterday. Do you know her? Why, of course I do. She's my wee daughter. Oh, Evelyn, this young lady is looking for you. And just then, the little girl peeked her head around the door. Hi, Evelyn. I see you've met my dad. Oh, hey, Evelyn, there you are. Pleased to meet you, Evelyn's dad. Now, wait, 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 just one moment. You mean that you're both named Evelyn? Both the Evelyns laughed. <laughs> well, that's rather unusual. Well, if you've nothing else to do, you're welcome to visit our house for some tea, Evelyn. Evelyn looked at her watch and saw that she had about ten minutes before they had to leave for school. So she said, well, sure, I can't stay for long, but I'd love to see your house and have some tea. So Evelyn walked through the doorway again, and on the other side, she saw that the other Evelyn and her dad were standing next to a unicorn. You have a unicorn? Evelyn said. Well, of course we do, and that's how most of us travel around here. In fact, my dad has a whole farm where he raises unicorns. You want to see them? Evelyn couldn't believe what she was hearing. She had always wanted to see a unicorn in person, and now she was about to go visit a whole farm full of dozens of unicorns. So the three of them hopped on the unicorn, and Evelyn's dad said, All right, Jewel, let's show our guest here what unicorns can do. And with that, Jewel the unicorn leaped into the air, and they flew over the town to the other side of the valley where the other Evelyn and her dad lived. Wow, that was incredible, said Evelyn. I know, right? It never gets old. And when they got there, the three of them hopped off Jewel and watched as Evelyn ran up to the unicorns and pet their noses. The other Evelyn and her dad could tell that Evelyn was in love. Wow, Dad, Evelyn really seems to like our unicorns. Can we give her one? Well, that would be highly unusual, Evie, but then again, it's highly unusual for us to meet a girl like this on our side of the wall. She does seem awfully sweet, doesn't she? I suppose it's all right with me. So the other Evelyn said, Hey, Evelyn, my dad says you can keep one of our unicorns if you want. And when Evelyn heard this, her jaw almost hit the ground. She couldn't believe what she just heard. Evelyn said, are you serious? You can't be for real. Are you for real? Why, of course, young lady. You're more than welcome to have one if you wish. So Evelyn looked out over the herd of unicorns for what seemed like forever. They were all so beautiful, she couldn't decide which one to pick. And that was when one of the unicorns chose her. It was the smallest and the cutest unicorn in the whole field. It ran right up to Evelyn and stood on its hind legs and then started running around and around her. I think Clover wants you to take him home, said the other Evelyn. So Evelyn hopped up on Clover's back and he took off running faster than Evelyn had ever gone before. It was the most amazing ride of her life. And right around then, when Clover finally came to a stop, Evelyn realized she had lost track of time. She had been gone for a lot longer than 10 minutes. She had to get back to the doorway and get back home. So Evelyn said, uh-oh, I didn't realize how late it was. I gotta get home. Can I take this unicorn with me? Unfortunately, I'm afraid not. All unicorns have to stay in our world. We'll take care of him for you while you're gone, but he must stay here. We can take him to the doorway, but no further. Evelyn said, is there any way I can take him? Nobody from home will ever believe me if I can never take him to the other side. The only way a unicorn can leave this world and go to yours is if someone's life needs saving. Otherwise, all unicorns must stay here. Okay, I understand. So Evelyn rode her new unicorn all the way to the door, and the other Evelyn and her dad rode Jewel back to the doorway with her. 
And Evelyn gave her new unicorn a hug and said, Bye for now, Clover. I'll see you soon. And so Evelyn left Clover with the other Evelyn and her dad. And she walked through the doorway and walked up the stairs. But when she was walking up the stairs, she could hear someone screaming. What was that noise? She ran the rest of the way upstairs and looked outside. And she could see her brother hanging upside down from the top of the biggest tree in their yard. Ah! He must have climbed up there and gotten stuck. Ah, His life needed saving right now. He was in trouble. So Evelyn ran back downstairs and barged through the door, only to see the other Evelyn and her dad slowly walking away. Quick, Evelyn yelled, someone's life needs saving. I need Clover. So Evelyn grabbed Clover's reins and pulled them through the doorway. She ran upstairs and out into their backyard. And when her brother saw Evelyn riding towards him on a unicorn, he couldn't believe his eyes. What is Evelyn doing on a unicorn? Evelyn and Clover leapt high up into the air all the way to the top of the tree. And then Clover grabbed Evelyn's brother by the back of the shirt and his teeth and carried him safely back to the ground. And when the dust settled, Evelyn's brother said, Where on earth did this unicorn come from, Evelyn? Does this have anything to do with that doorway you were telling me about? And Evelyn said, That's exactly where he came from. I knew I'd be able to prove it to you. But what Evelyn didn't know was that any unicorn who crosses through the doorway brings a certain kind of magic with them magic that is very powerful and very unpredictable. It wouldn't be long until her whole family would be in for some big, unexpected surprises later that day. But that's a story for another day. Do you ever find yourself wondering when the next episode is going to come out for the Storyland podcast? I know they don't come out as much as we all want them to, but if you want to be the first to know about when the next story is going to drop, all you got to do is follow us on Instagram or Facebook, or just go to storyland.show, and you'll find links to all the different places online where you can listen and watch, and even leave a comment and make suggestions about other story ideas that you might have. Just go to storyland.show. Or again, you can follow us on Facebook or Instagram. Just search for Storyland, all one word, podcast. Storyland podcast, and you should be able to find us there. Thanks again for listening, and I'll talk to you next time.